can't believe we've been doing it for almost half a dozen years. <clears throat> Started and uh, I'm very grateful to each and every one of you who has made time to be here. Um, if I can see you, that would be really nice because I get a lot of information from seeing people. <clears throat> Is there anybody who wants to say something? I mean, first can as allow people to unmute themselves. Oh, yes. Okay. Now host has allowed you to unmute yourselves. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Somebody here for the first time. Yes, I am. Hi, Poonam. Thank you so much. Thank oh you. Oh my too. God. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you too you. for being here. Love you too. Yeah, thank you. So it's it's interesting really how it all started. I don't see Rajni here, but is she Rajni there? I don't know. So I my access journey began in 2012. Vivek and I started together. And so I would also like to start this call expressing infinite gratitude to... Oh, Mother Mama's here. I'm sorry. I will start again. So I would like to start the call uh, expressing my infinite gratitude to the founder of Access Consciousness, uh, Gary Douglas. Gary Major Douglas. He has been a major influence uh, in the lives of many people all over the world and uh, Dr. Dane here and everybody in access and everybody who may not be in access but who chooses consciousness. So it's all about consciousness. It's not like somebody uh, has it and somebody doesn't. We we all have it. We are all pure consciousness. Would you agree with me that we are all pure consciousness? Yes, we are. <clears throat> so, sometimes we forget that. Sometimes we choose something that is not consciousness. And that's where uh, challenges and difficulties and so-called problems show up. So, is there anybody who has a question? See, the thing is... One second, one second. Before any of that, I do have to give my usual this one. This is live on Facebook and a recording is going up on YouTube. Okay, so bear that in mind when you ask your question and if it's something that's really personal that you would prefer not to put on a public platform, platform uh, please save that for later or some other personal session just so, just so everybody's on the same page. Thank you. <laughs> because we had some fun doing this earlier. And he's saying that because he has to do the technological part of the work and he has to cut and remove bits and pieces that people don't want him to put. <laughs> and that involves a lot of work. Uh, extra work. I mean, not that <clears throat> much work, but extra work, which I would prefer not to do. Okay. So, let's do this, okay? Um, first, uh, is there anybody here who is not familiar with access consciousness, the body of work that most of us are familiar with. Is there anybody here who doesn't know what it is all about? I don't see anybody. Okay. <clears throat> um, also, uh, those of you watching on Facebook, hello. Hi, everybody on Facebook. If we can get a hi, everybody on Facebook, that would be nice. Yeah, but I have to call out specially to Ratan hi, and Rajni. Hi. Uh, these are the two people that we have to thank yeah. for the clearing calls because it was in 2013, 14 that they had been asking, like, why can't we meet once a month? Why can't we meet sometime and we do some clearing? And somehow it didn't work because we were not all free at the same time. Also, and we were also not in the same place. Uh, we do have to thank, thank uh, Bangalore traffic 
for incentivizing us to stay at home and do this thing online so yes thank you to bangalore traffic so we wondered how we could manage and then after a lot of uh, conversations uh, we <clears throat> decided that we didn't have to meet physically that we could do it online and that we could from wherever we were save ourselves time and energy and meet online so that's that was taking you back to the 14th of may 2016 <clears throat> and Thanks so much. i'm also i'm also grateful to you people uh who joined me and we waked on the first call and who are still here with us today not because you require anything but because it is fun to get together once a week and clear some stuff the funniest part of the whole thing is that we do have fun we we don't make it like some serious gambhir no, work no no we have fun and and it's interesting that when when we clear something for someone based on their question somebody else far away is yawning so we know like oh okay or i'm yawning i mean for the whole group somebody yeah. yawns so <laughs> so it is like that so what i would like us to do first is to push down all the barriers known unknown visible invisible big walls or cardboard boxes in which we have put ourselves any kind of energetic barrier that does not allow us to give and receive in ways that we can so sometimes it is very interesting when when people stumble and then they call and say like this is not working that is not working okay what are you doing i'm using all the tools really that's wonderful uh, so you're telling me that you're adding 2 and 2 but you're not getting 4 so let's go back to the drawing board again and let's see how do you use them do you expand yourself yes 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 i do that okay great so do you start your day with all of life comes to me with ease and joy and glory of course every day right okay so do you ask uh who am i today and what grand and glorious adventures am i going to have yes 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 that also really okay that's amazing i'm sure you lower all the barriers before you do all this oh mm-hmm. Psst. lowering barriers to kabhi yaad hi nahi rehta humko oh okay so when you when you sit in your car and you expect it to go places without actually using the key to open and unlock doesn't work so one of the first things that i would request of you if you have not already done that is to lower all barriers you cannot expand beyond your barriers right you can only expand as much as those walls around you allow you to expand what if there were no walls how much would you be able to expand how big would you be infinite as big as the universe how incredible would that be and if you are as big as the universe what is bigger than you what is greater than you what is more powerful than you the willingness to recognize the greatness of who we are or the unwillingness to do that is the difference between an incredibly phenomenal life or one with a lot of struggle and strife so when we say all of life comes to me with ease joy and glory we are not saying that things will be easy what we are saying is that no matter what shows up good bad ugly wonderful magical miraculous not so great we will still be able to handle it with ease 
So everywhere that we believe that the tools do not work, is there anybody who says tools are not working for me? Is there anyone like that? everything? Everything. Yeah, hold your peace. Don't put your hand because it's a <laughs> video call. So wherever it is that you have the point of view, maybe it is working for everybody, but not for me. Would you be willing to let it go now, please? Yes. Ratan yon, ratan yon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to. I'm just going to say yes for everybody. I hope you don't mind. Yeah. So. What energy, space, consciousness, choice, magic, mysteries, miracles, and possibilities can each one of us now choose to be, to create in our lives the miracles that we dream of? Would you be willing to say yes to that? Yes. And everything that doesn't allow us to be that shall be destroyed and uncreated, please. Yes. I'm the yes man today. Right and wrong, good and bad, pod and pock, all nine shots, boys and beyond. So one of the reasons why I asked whether there is anybody on the call who has not done any access is because they will find it rather strange, these this combination of words that we call the clearing statement. So, I did not get anyone who said, no, I don't know anything. Uh, there is someone who says here, not much. Oh, so... Which, I, which I'm assuming is not very familiar with this. Okay, so is Arti there? Uh, somewhere here, yes. Yes. Arti ji. Where are you, sweetie? Yeah. Uh, hi. Hi. And, uh, Can I see you? I mean, uh, for everyone watching on Facebook, there is a bit of a delay. The mic can be closer. This is about as close as it gets. If it's any closer, it'll be inside her head. Uh, <laughs> so, so, so is there anybody who is not able to hear me? Uh, on Facebook, everybody's saying it's okay. okay. Most, I mean, one person is saying it's okay. But yes, uh, if we are on watching on Facebook, there is a bit of a delay. So I will. I'm reading your comments. I will get to you as soon as I can. Okay. Okay, so uh, Arti, how much of access are you familiar with? Do you do you know about the clearing statement? Uh, yeah, I know about it. Awesome. I have done uh, one what? access course actually. You have done? Yeah, I have. Okay. No, uh, actually there are two, oh, two Arti's on the call. <laughs> okay. So, I just joined, so I thought you were talking to me. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, no, no, no. No, fine. no, I will be talking to whoever it is said not much. Yes, uh, Arti V. Modi, I think. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hi. So uh, I don't know too much uh, hmm. about access. Hmm. It's just that uh, my friends, uh, they, they follow you and uh, they follow a lot of access bars. And uh, they make me do this clearing all of life, love, money, health, energy <laughs> comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. So I keep doing that all the time. <laughs> oh, they make you do it? Make you do it as in we... we okay, I mean, not like... Is, I always feel that energy is there and uh, okay. it, it gives a lot of... Uh, I mean, yeah, it's out of choice. I mean, it's not like... <laughs> thank it's thank not God like for that. We are sitting with a stick. <laughs> but uh, yeah, but it's, uh, I mean, throughout this one year, I've always told them that it's it's because, uh, you know, of this uh, whole clearing that they've been, uh, we've done together that this one year of lockdown has gone so smoothly. Okay. So thank you for joining us today. And I am sure that you will know everything. That you will know that you know everything. Some time ago there was an interview, somebody asked me, what made you join Access? And I said, the tagline of Access was a huge invitation for me. And what is it? Empowering people to know that they know. So, I'm sure you know everything that you need to know. It's just that you have to acknowledge that I know that I know. Can I get, okay, sweet. Can I get Kari Sabha? Uh, fast. Okay. okay. So, yeah, we'll be here till sure. Thank you so oh, much. God, no. So, like, one of my favorite examples is, like, 
if we're going somewhere in a, on a in a car for example i'm a big car nut so i'm going to keep talking about cars don't worry about it um if it stops working midway for whatever reason we're not going to uh stop on the side of the road and cry that does not serve anybody the first instinct is to check okay something has happened here can i get someone to take me where i need to go can i get someone to take me back home can i get someone to fix the car <laughs> uh so now we are asking questions and we're doing it so naturally and so quickly that we don't even notice the issue with most of these situations is it takes as it takes an emergency for us to come into our true power for us to start really using everything that we have the all the tools that we have and everything that we're capable of in order to change it but we do it so often without noticing and our job is to tell you that you are brilliant and you already know everything that you need to know you already have access to everything that you require in order to change the situation the question is are we willing to or not now that is up to you like it's a very much take the horse to water can't make a drink kind of situation and we always have to respect everyone else's free will i no matter how much uh we know that we can help somebody we can't force them to choose something but i can assure you that like when we say like all of life comes to me with ease joy and glory the core of that is a very deep trust in ourselves that no matter what happens we can change it and it's something we can choose to do we don't have to wait for proof everybody wants to wait for proof of concept everybody wants to wait for some reason to believe in themselves but you don't need a reason so how many of us can say i believe in myself implicitly getting there work in progress for some very nice <laughs> and how many of us say i'm not sure about this okay so everywhere that you feel you are not sure about it and you have the courage to say that would you be willing to believe that trusting in yourself believing in yourself is the first step to any kind of creation in the sense that you know <clears throat> if you go to someone you are going to that person because you trust that person to help you to to you will engage with people who you believe and trust can help you so whether it is a doctor or whether it is a lawyer or any professional <clears throat> we look for recommendations from people to find somebody who can be really efficient who can be trustworthy so how can others trust in us if we choose to not trust in ourselves would you go to somebody you don't trust no and this is so, not just with healing it's with life in general like if somebody is giving you a job to do if they feel like you don't trust yourself to do it why will they give it to you one of the reasons why we do not trust ourselves does anybody share no why we do not trust ourselves in most cases from the beginning from the time we were little we were told to trust elders we were told to trust other people you don't know you check with this person you don't know listen to me i will tell you nobody is ever encouraged to trust in themselves in this reality there are very few parents who will tell the child what would you like to choose here what is it that would make you happy what all 
do you have available to you that you can choose from and so they begin to choose for themselves and as they begin to choose more and more they get more and more confident in themselves and then their trust in themselves also grows equally there is one more thing that i have said many times and i'm saying this again as long as we are 17 up to 17 before your 18th birthday you can put it all on them hmm. the parents the grandparents the aunts uncles neighbors neighbor's dog uh, the teachers the principal everybody else they did this to me they did not teach me they did not do this these are all the blanks but once we are 18 once we have um come to a point in our lives where we are even allowed to cast a vote and decide what the country should choose or not surely we get to choose our own lives and how we choose to live it so it may be that we did not grow up that way we were encouraged to listen to others and all that that may be responsible for you saying today that i am not sure i trust myself but that was then and this is now what can i choose today what can i be and do different today that would allow me to build trust in myself and everything that does not allow me to do that all the points of view all the lectures that i got while growing up and everything else that gets in the way i am now choosing to destroy and uncreate all of that and what energy space and consciousness can i now choose to be to trust myself more than ever before and everything that doesn't allow that i destroy and uncreate that as well is rashi feeling better is pramod feeling better is there any change something's up i don't know okay to ask okay so um just a very oh, i think i'm going to ask something yeah one second. very small question to those who have been on the calls since day 1 or later and have been on the calls um for a long long time can you please put up your hands <laughs> okay how have these calls helped you do you think is there anyone who can because there are many people who haven't been on the calls and like they have no clue what we're doing i guess and they need somebody who has benefited other than vivek and myself talking 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 if you could just <laughs> say in a few words how it has contributed to you i think it will help them trust me a little bit more as that, we have to worry about that very much no no bhai has to say bhai yes mother mama here oh hi ha bali mama single word ha bhai single word all of life huh. comes to with ease joy and glory simple hey, nice <laughs> exactly same usme sab kuch aa gaya matlab thank you pichle 6 saal kaise nikal gaya pata hi nahi chala gaadi itni smooth chal rahi hai everything is going fine life business uh, relation it covers everything yeah aur aaj pata mere pata chala ki itna saal ho gaya agar ke ha jinki kaise pata nahi chala pata hi nahi chala i thought we started only 2 3 years back not uh, 2016 matlab उट sometimes with some clearing or with just blankly we come and not as cleared for us yeah thanks the, to the, all who attended the calls thank, thank you the interesting thing also is we are celebrating akshatriti today 
and i am here to tell you that you are the gold you have been looking for you don't have to go to any goldsmith or any shop to buy gold today because you are the gold you have been looking for and if you would just be willing to see yourself as the gold you are you will never ever not trust yourself again you will never ever in your life this or future ever not honor you enough you will never ever not be grateful for who you are and you will never ever 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 judge yourself again who judges gold you know like that so the willingness to recognize that everything that we are looking for is within us we stop looking for it outside and when we find it in us we find it outside as well so everywhere that you are outward bound instead of inward bound would you be willing to change that now please? yes would you be willing to see yourself would you be willing to see yourself as you were created to be would you be willing to acknowledge your uniqueness would you be willing to see your strengths would you be willing to stop judging yourself that one choice if you can make today to never judge yourself ever again it would be worth being on this call yes pramod uh pramod and then amit i'm yeah. been waiting yeah yeah bhagya if only i had known you were going to talk about <clears throat> gold and akshay tritya today i would have worn my one my golden pants but, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway since i'm wearing black i'll go with black gold being just as good yes <laughs> um yeah if anything uh, i think these weekly calls all have not been a part of as many as the rest of the folks if anything uh, fridays fright to freed is a good reminder to stop judging yourself and i think that takes care of everything till you go into more judgment <laughs> the following week no when you give it up you give it up it is not giving it up for 1 hour 2 hours 24 hours one week well yeah that's that's yeah. been the challenge right so yeah. week after so, week i think so when we when we choose less. to live in the moment in this moment you can choose to be judgment free yeah just for this moment in this moment i am willing to trust myself a little more yeah like it's it's not as complicated as we would like to think it's not a five year plan in this no, moment it's, it's and the idea one week is plan, that, sorry one week one plan. week well <laughs> it's not planned at all <laughs> it's being present in the moment being the present that you are yeah. the gift that you are it's like our slant is your Christian. Yeah like our job is to show you what is possible and so if you know that you can do that here on the call then you can carry that forward for the rest of your life forget about the rest of the week because the tools are the same it's just a question of applying them that's all <laughs> everything uh, like what what did i uh, einstein said a lot of things what is yeah. applied 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 knowledge is wisdom correct that's so cool. it's a question of application and as with as with any other thing it's a skill it's a it's, it's a something... choice i would say oh, well yeah it's a choice but you get better at it the more you do it is what i'm trying to say there is yeah, there the, is the more you practice it yes the easier it becomes naturally it becomes a part yes. of you there yeah. is there is also another thing i want to add that no matter how well i may have used the tools today the tools will work when i use them if i say i worked a whole day yesterday and uh, to so today i'm not going to use them so it's not going to work the tools will work in our hands so ultimately it is up to us and not the tools for them to work we have to use them and you know i remember many 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 decades ago in school being told a bad workman blames his tools <laughs> so so everywhere you may think that like what these tools work but they aren't working no, they for work, me they work only for other people they don't work for me so everything that is shall we just try and create it <laughs> please yeah so 
as long as I am present and using the tools, they will work for me. And they will work for anybody who uses them. So there was a question even before the call, somebody asked me to talk about consistency. Okay, so it is the consistent use of tools all the time. Over a period of time, then we become the energy of the tools, asking questions, clearing what doesn't work for us becomes a part of our lifestyle. But until it does, until it does, we have to be willing to use them. Right? So is it Amit next? We yeah, Amit's been waiting for a while. Man. Yes, Amit. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, these calls have really helped me. Uh, since the beginning, I was not very uh, known to access consciousness and uh, these uh, technologies. But still, uh, still I could understand these calls. Still, it was a very beneficial. I always felt lighter, much, much lighter after these calls and all these tensions and uh, would go away. So if I can understand, I can think any, anybody can understand because the understanding is not in words. That's the main thing. Yes. Uh, you can, and the healing is not necessarily in words and not necessarily in logic, which you apply and think, try to dissect it with logical interpretation, but more by the energy and the acceptance uh, of the calls. So thank you very much. And thank also you. I would like to thank because today my COVID negative test came. Awesome. Virus also. Congratulations. So, thank you very much. So, so thank you, Amit. Now we can all go home and sleep. <laughs> because you've said it all, boy. Yeah, basically, yes. Mm, yeah. Thank you for what thank you have you. said. Now, one more thing. Uh, ah, yes. Uh, one more thing. Now, bola, but nahi bola. <laughs> now, that's, that's the magic of the calls that uh, you, you tend to put the words in a proper way. Yes. So, yes. It makes a difference. Makes a difference. It makes a difference. Words makes a difference. Yeah. So uh, now I would like to ask uh, how to improve my mother's situation as she today tested positive for COVID. So uh, she's also in the call today. So I know. Yeah, we can see her. She's right next to you. Bimla ji, bachon ka leli ya kya? The eternal mother figure. Me 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 so aap unse hindi mein bole aap ha aapko unmute karna hai ma'am phone uh, sorry uh, mic apne aap ko dilase dijiye boliye ki mujhe pata hai isko kaisa nipatna in dono ko theek kiya to mera ka apne aap se theek ho jayega and everything that doesn't allow that talk and put it theek ban ji it's okay. Don't make her talk, Amit. I will talk. Okay. Yeah, we talk to her after a whole bunch of people. I will, yes. Say, I yes, Payal ji. Yes. yes. Go yes. ahead. And, and I have to thank you, Payal, for always reminding me that it is time to go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So from being a person to who's always had self-doubt and, you know, always required validation from outside, appreciation from outside, acknowledgement from outside that I'm right and I'm doing things properly, you know, from, from that being that person, what these calls have done, like layer by layer, like the example that you give of, you know, ek tissue nikala to dusra tissue, ek tissue nikala to dusra tissue. So layer by layer, every week after week, like I feel, you know, all these things slowly, how they have gone out of my system. I'm amazed. And the way I love myself now and the, the, the need for validation, acknowledgement, appreciation from outside is not there. If I get it, it's a bonus, but it's not a need anymore. I'm not looking for it. That whatever I do, you know, I should be appreciated for it or something. I'm really so grateful to you, Ma. It's very difficult to put everything in one or two lines, but this is what I want to really thank express. You. That thank, thank you so much, Ma and Vivek. These thank calls you. have really changed my life from the past two years since I'm, you know, there on these calls and with thank you associated with you after the foundation. It has been amazing. Thank, Thank you. you. You changed my life. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank, Thank you. you too, dearest. Thank you. Yes. Uh, Aditi ji, then Preeti, then Sheetal ji. Yes. Hello. Hello. Hello.
thank you for wanting to pay me today i know we were so expected. sweet of you that was very unexpected the why won't you receive <laughs> why won't you receive no no i will receive whatever <laughs> yeah the first call changed my money reality so this was like a you know paid forward sort paid of forward? ah place. thank you <laughs> so uh, and 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 you've done way beyond so this was this was just my tiny bit maybe i i actually wrote down what i want to say you know you're talking about judging i've stopped judging myself till something really 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 devastating happens so thank you for that and i think being consistently on calls with you i think almost two years i've been on calls with you last sometime maybe would have been a gap but i remember one call you said i'm always connected to you and i was like okay so now you know i'm always connected to bagim <laughs> and receiving it all and i remember one call vivek said something that i asked and i was really troubled and he said you know instead of being in all these places ask what do i require to do in this moment who do i require to be in this moment and that really changed big time for me and wow. it helped all the time and when we are talking about tools yes immense gratitude to access the books the classes the calls but your friday calls uh make it happen you know the application that you're talking about being the tool that's what i learned by being on the friday calls by being all of life comes to me with these joint mm. glory by being how does it really get better and not just saying it yeah so when you really internalize it so i think the friday calls help uh, i know there are so many people who are doing so many calls advance calls this that the other but and i know you say this in your calls also we have to go down to the basics because we yes. forget that all the time so that is something that rings in my head every time i'm you know in a in a space of tap review ki go down to the basics so yeah that's how it's really changed my world and uh, i've stopped questioning the how to so nice how does it get better it just does thank you it so does. much for making that change in my life really thank you, thank you so much thank and what fun like 5 years 6 years i don't know i feel it's been like 10 15 years i was asking ma 10 years to the calls today she like no, <laughs> no yeah, meet me after 4 so years much. and i will say yes 10 years really it's a 4 as a 5 i don't know whatever it is but could be time time is irrelevant irrelevant and yes, i can completely. see preeti sitting there so like you know i know me and preeti both of us were sitting like we want to go next we want to say so much so i won't take more time thank you Thank you so much, Aditi. Pretty hello. Pretty hello, everyone. Ma, these uh, Friday calls, I actually look forward to them every single week. It's like I feel it's it's a it's it's like a prerequisite for the next week. To, <laughs> yeah, to stay uh, to be the energy of the tools, and uh, these calls are empowering because the 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 mirror exercise in the end that you tell and. like i've already told you how uh, powerful and potent that exercise is it when you are like a reminded to us that we are limitless yes. and that not everyone tells you daily life not very many people would tell you in fact you have people who will always be mocking us not not intentionally or knowingly our loved ones family members if you want to do something out of the way but everybody would be encouraging of it but these calls they give you the faith the uh, what we were talking about trust in oneself yeah these are the calls that do that so i i always tell you even that ma is the uh, walking talking access consciousness tagline so and she says um, but the, the tagline says empowering people to know that they know and your calls in these calls this is exactly what you do and i'm grateful for that thank you me too thank you and these um, there's every like like uh, aditi just mentioned so we know we've done the call we've done classes and we know all the tools but to always remember to apply them to use them the calls helped me do that because there was a time when i wasn't able to get on the calls and i really feel that i have to get back on those calls because uh, somehow you kind of uh, I don't remember something happens and I'm picking up on something, but I don't ask the question who does this belong. Yeah. So many times it happens. So yeah. 
um, as long as um, I'm on these calls, I feel I am, it helps me be the energy of the tools and the tools are obviously magical, but yes. until I use them, yeah. they can't be magic, right? So yeah. thank you for that. Thank you too. Sheetal, good to see you. Sheetal, hello Sheetal ji. Hello ma, hello Vivek. Hello. Hi, hello everyone. Good to see you too ma. Yeah. Hi, hi Chris Runda. <laughs> I'm feeling so happy to be here today and congratulations ma for completing five years and saying this you know I also realize now that it's been two years that I first you know joined your calls from May onwards like it's been two years now wow. so it's a great journey <laughs> I never wanted to miss this one of course yeah. so with Friday calls a lot and a lot have changed in my universe in my space and especially in my being so it's starting from trusting myself, acknowledging me first, being grateful for myself, honoring myself. I have become aware of my potency. And of course, I've started making different choices altogether. And I'm not regretting for any of them. Because awesome. I know you have my back. I know universe has my back. So a lot has changed. And receiving has become so easy. Even, nice. you know finding money at a metro station yeah. <laughs> there are lacks of lacks people or uh, lacks and lacks of people travel each day and of course not is not limited to metro station even today when i open any of my old bag or wallet or even a book and the box i just find money there you know i feel so happy and i'm in you know full gratitude of you that i have learned to receive so much and it's been showing up and I'm a lawyer, being in a launch of, you know, at each moment has become so easy. Even, you know, I have, where I was resisting other people's judgments about me, I am now at total ease. And I just say, okay, guys, whatever they would like to do, please do it. Because for every judgment, I'm getting money in my bank account now. Nice. <laughs> okay. So, and writing as general and gratitude general. So, whatever I have learned from you, I'm following that, man. Thank awesome. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Last, I think, Vrinda, Chris, then we will get on with our clearing. Yeah. Yes. Hi, Ma. Hi, Hi Ma. Oh, Hello. We had loads of fun in the call, Ma. And uh, if, if I, I, I started off as, uh, I, I still remember, I, I used to rush back to Pune and I used to just hop onto your call. It used to happen at nine those days. Yes. And uh, the first call that I sat with you, it actually went on for around two and a half hours. And I was like, wow. <laughs> and it did take a lot. And from there on, it, it, it became a journey. And like others who have said it, I just got hooked onto it because it cleared so much for me right in the first call. And, uh, and there was so much that kept showing up to get uh, to uh, wanting to be cleared. And it became a journey and along the way I started enjoying it. Uh, yeah. I had, we have loads of fun with Vivek. We have fun with everyone who participates. And Thank you. That, that, that's, yeah, that's what uh, actually pulls me to those calls every, every single week. Thank you. Thank you. And Thank I did, so I did yeah, change a lot as well. As in you, you are aware as to what, uh, how much I've yes. gone through. <laughs> so that, that's, that's a bonus. And I, I, if I start speaking about all of those, we'll just run out of time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just keep it for some other day, Maya. Thank, Thank you. you. So, Ma, uh, for you just mentioned, na, some few people are new, and whether you checked whether, uh, like people who do not have access background. So, I could be a very good example. So, like when Chris joined uh, the calls, I was actually not even aware of access. Had not done anything, even bars. Like I was aware of access, but not the tools or anything. I used to just be beside him and on the call. And I guess now, uh, like after being on the calls for almost a year, I think I yeah. did the bars. And so it was not that I was into access tools right from the beginning, yeah. but just being on the calls changed so much. And Ma, you always tell me I have stopped asking questions. Probably. In that one year when even without learning access tools and being on the calls, so much of changes at the energetic, at a conscious level or subconscious level did take place that probably now after learning the tools, I feel, okay, this is like, I'm able to relate to it better, but yeah. of course. But yeah, so it, it, I, I would not say that there is no need to learn the tools, but of course it, it, it was not imperative that I know the tools and only then 
understand your calls so that is one thing i would like to acknowledge and today being akshay trithiya and you mentioned it so i want to specify this yes we are gold but it is with your midas touch yes wow. thank you so much. <laughs> i oh. really thank you from my heart from the bottom of my heart but oh of course you and me with both of you yeah. and thank i you. feel glad to have had thank you so much thank you <laughs> thank you so much thank Ma. you so much that's incredible i was uh, hoping to not cry but i <laughs> ma when you said it was the tears of joy you know it is it is you know something that i learned when i was 58 uh, in 2012 and uh, what drew me is the fact that um it had a question that i had actually been asking all my life what else is possible yeah i wonder It's... what else is possible is how i have lived my life and so when they spoke about how does it get any better than this or how does it get any better than that and what else is possible it was like coming home the idea that it is the energy of the question that will change things situations circumstances events and when we make a statement we put a full stop at the end of that and everything comes to a stop now suppose you say nothing is working for me what else is there after that nothing but if you say i wonder what else i can ask that would give me more clarity about this I wonder what else is possible here that I have not yet considered. So when you ask that then you will be aware of what the next step can be. Like we ask and then not try to figure out an answer or not try to expect or try to uh, have our own idea of how something should show up. It's like we're putting we're we're using our uh you know our innate ability to gain information when you ask questions because we are constantly being bombarded with awarenesses with information with ideas and so many things that we try to tune out because we have our own set idea of what thing is supposed to be but when you are asking a question then we are opening ourselves up to all possibilities so it's it's not like like i said it's not something we don't already know but is things that we don't always use so here is a clearing what energy space consciousness choice magic mysteries miracles and possibilities can i now choose to be to jump at possibilities instead of jumping to conclusions yes so everywhere i have been jumping to conclusions and self sabotaging myself i now choose to destroy and uncreate it all times the god silent right and wrong good and bad pot and pock all nine shots boys and beyond so suppose you were given a wand and you were said you have to wave it and everything will work for you you still have to wave it right so the willingness to recognize that when you are using the tools correctly appropriately and consistently they they definitely work so everywhere that we have been consistently inconsistent <laughs> shall we destroy and uncreate it please yes. right and wrong good and bad pot and pock all nine It's shots like boys and beyond the, and the magic is not in the tool it is in us yes we're just hey hi, hi girl. sweetie hello It's good to see you yes you're one of my favorite people on the planet <laughs> good to see you so uh, if, foundation uh, yeah. students too ma yes. yes yeah and she asked the most brilliant questions in the class thank you for that so so everywhere that we are testing the tools <laughs> proof of concept yeah everywhere that we are testing to see whether it will work for us or not wherever it is that our trust in the tools has been 
as little as the trust in ourselves shall we destroy an uncreated place yes right and wrong good and bad pot and pock all nine shots boys and beyond so what would it be like for us to give up all judgment the moment we give up judgment we will create space the moment we occupy that space and be expansive we will allow our lives to be constantly expanding as well so everywhere we are shrinking and diminishing ourselves but hoping praying that our lives would be greater bigger happier more expansive shall we destroy an uncreated place yes how big a container are you willing to be to receive the miracles that you have been praying for can we go to the ocean with a glass we can we'll get only a glass full but that doesn't mean the ocean is only a glass full so everywhere we judge how limited we are and thereby deny ourselves the unlimited abundance that the universe would like to gift to us everything that is everywhere that we've been there done that shall we destroy an uncreated place yes this right and wrong good and bad pot and pock all nine shots boys and beyonds and what energy space and consciousness can we choose in this moment that could be the turning point in our lives that could be the point from which we change the direction we choose to go towards plenty we choose to go towards abundance in all aspect of our lives so one of the things that we have to remember is that we are surrounded by people who live from the space of a victim they feel victimized by everything their circumstances the people their lives their jobs their money situations their everything and from that place of victimhood what can we create more of more victimization only but this is the tool this is what i would like to share with you that if that exists poverty exists as a part of this reality then the opposite of that must also exist which is plenty and which is abundance so whenever we shrink we have to realize that all possibilities shrink with us and whenever we choose to expand then all possibilities also exponentialize and expand so everywhere we determine the quality of our lives by our external reality instead of the internal reality that we came here to live everything that is everything that brings up for us when we think of that shall we destroy an uncreated place yes what would it be like for you to know that you have within you everything that you would like to create in your life that that the capacity to do that is there you have to tap into that and in order to do that you will find many many blocks self created you know that happened then i tried this didn't work i asked this i didn't get this you, you remember that what if we didn't remember all that because that was then and this is now in this moment it's a fresh new moment a moment that has never existed before and one that will never come again 
So in this moment of now is is the possibility of creating something different. And like if if the thing that we are looking to create was not possible, it wouldn't even occur to us. The fact that we have even conceived of the idea means that it is possible. Otherwise, we wouldn't get that awareness at all. It's like that old story of the Spaniards reaching uh, Central America for the first time and they couldn't understand how they crossed the ocean because that's impossible. To them, they didn't even conceive of the idea of boats because it couldn't be possible to cross the ocean. So when we have a clear, uh, for lack of a better word, desire or um, something that we would like to actualize in the world, it's there because it is possible. And other people have done it before. Other people will do it before, but no one will do it like you. Yes. We are here to express our possibilities so, and have fun doing it. So in this moment, if you feel like it, you may. And if you don't feel like it, you need not. But what if you could just keep your hand over your heart and say, I am willing to acknowledge the truth of who I am. I am willing to acknowledge me for everything that I am and don't even know that I am. I am willing to believe that there is a power within me that has not been tapped in into yet. I know that when I do that, all of life will unfold for me with greater and greater ease and joy and glory. And everything that does not allow me to believe that, all the events, all the past, all the stories, all the traumas, dramas and situations that are still somewhere in my mind holding me back, if they have not contributed to me, and are not contributing now and are not likely to contribute to me ever again. I now choose to destroy and uncreate them all for now and forever. Yes. And any resistance that I may have to letting them all go, because that means giving up my story, I am choosing to let that go as well. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pork, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. And what energy, space and consciousness can I now choose to be to see myself for the miracle that I am, to see myself in ways that I have never chosen before, to see myself in a way that would create more and more and more and more astonishing miracles for me every single moment of my life and everything that does not allow me to believe this. I choose to destroy and uncreate that. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine, shorts, boys and beyonds. Would you be willing to drink some water? Ah, uh, yes. If, if, if at all possible, everybody make sure you have water with you. Is there anyone on uh, Facebook who has any questions? If you do, please put them in the comments. I am reading them. Okay. There is a bit of a delay, so. All right. So, any question coming up for anyone? Pramod, is that your hand up, son? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, yes Bhagir. Not a question per se, but while you were using the statements, one of the things that's been with me for a few days now, and it came again into my head <laughs> at the same time was this that everywhere i've given my power up i'm willing to take it back now awesome I'm not sure what it is but that just continues to stay and continues to ring constantly and mm -hmm. uh, it feels it feels more empowering yes power yeah <laughs> i just realized power isn't the word empower <laughs> yes yes it is um, yeah that's that's one of the things that's been resonating quite a bit and every time I use that, even just as a statement, right? Uh, I'm willing to take my power back now. Mm. It gives that sense of ease. Yes. Uh, yeah. Not not of control. Yeah. But yeah, knowing it. knowing that, yeah, yeah. everywhere I fe felt that I can't do this. I can't handle this. Yeah. 
everywhere i felt weak it just brings back yeah. all of that and says okay all this is a lie yes. what were you thinking <laughs> yeah there are two things here pramod one is that nobody can actually take our power away if we feel powerless it is because we at some point of time may have given it to someone else and that is what makes us powerless that's when you give it's somebody like, your car keys and then you just sit on the back seat they will take you for a ride wherever it is that they want but the but the thing also is this is this is probably one of the most important things in the skull that as long as we are in the head ruminating judging or thinking or analyzing using logic if the mind could solve all the problems wouldn't it have done so already so when we are in the head we can only retrieve get back information that we have put in at some time so suppose at some point of time i have said to myself i feel so hopeless and helpless so when i try to do something that hopeless and helpless is what is going to come back to me so when we feel that we are thinking a lot this is one thing that we can do if i were to step out of my mind i wonder what i would be aware of what would i know because you as an embodiment of consciousness are swimming in an ocean of consciousness but most of us are swimming in that ocean of consciousness unconsciously because we are not being present because we are thinking we are we are trying to figure out answers instead of asking questions and allowing the awareness to come to us if i were to step out of my mind so so somebody will say no that person is out of his mind and that's supposed to be insulting but actually stepping out of your mind is a good exercise to do every now and then i do not say the mind is a bad thing i love the mind because of what it can do but there are some things outside the mind which is pure consciousness and awareness which when we ask questions will come to us it will come it will be on a hoarding that you pass by as you go out or it will be something you hear or something someone says but whatever it is you will get it if you ask questions so everywhere that we are inconsistent in the questions that we ask or we ask questions that are not empowering questions shall we destroy an uncreated please yes right and wrong good and bad pot and pock all nine shots boys and beyonds also like suppose you you ask i wonder what else is possible how does this sound as compared to will this ever work do you see the difference when you say will this ever work you've already concluded that it's not going to work so everywhere that we've been jumping to conclusions and thinking that it's a good exercise to do shall we destroy and uncreate it please right and wrong good and bad pot and pock all nine shots the mind is just one big data center but yeah, it's very powerful data center mind you there's a lot of information you can put there yeah. but if you ask it for information you're only going to get out what you put in it's not going to give you anything new the best it can do is extrapolate and the mind straining is to go to the worst possible uh the mind straining is to go to the worst possible situation because the logic is if we prepare for the worst then we can take care of everything else but in preparing for the worst you are expecting the worst and inevitably that is what shows up and in preparing for the worst even if there is an opportunity that you could have taken advantage of we're too busy looking at the worst to see it okay 
Uh, so file says it's past nine. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I don't know about this. You'll uh, see. I'm not entirely sure when the recording is going to stop. Uh, if you do have. Questions. Just ask in the direct message. Uh, okay. Yeah, you can. So so I have some quick can, questions. So the file will be crossed with me. You nine five. The, you can put the question uh, privately and we will try our best to answer it. Okay. Without so before I forget, you. even before the call, there was a question that said, Will you talk about uh, Consistency. Uh, perseverance? Okay. So wherever it is that we have made lives hard, where we have to struggle and persevere in order to get results, shall we destroy and uncreate it, please? What energy, space and consciousness can we be to allow everything to unfold with ease? almost effortlessly because you're willing to be the creator of magic and miracles. So everywhere that you think uh, life is a struggle, shall we destroy and uncreate it, please? What if life could be a grand and glorious adventure? Okay, so everywhere we, we buy into what this reality tells us about life, instead of exploring it on our own, shall we destroy and uncreate that, please? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pork, all nine shots, boys and beyond. So, if we were truly living as infinite beings, would we ever doubt ourselves? No. The moment we doubt ourselves, we shrink and diminish to finite reality and finite possibilities are available to us then. So everywhere we shrink ourselves unconsciously, shall we destroy and uncreate it, please? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds, and wherever it is, and wherever it is that we buy into this reality as the only things that can happen to us, which is the worst case scenarios. Shall we let that go now, please? Would we be willing to ask questions like, I know this is what it looks like, but I wonder what else is possible here. Okay? This is what it looks like, but is it all of it or only part of it? What would it be like for me to explore the other parts, the unseen parts, the unseen possibilities that it might hold? What questions can I ask so that these possibilities can show up for me now and in the future? And everything that doesn't allow that to destroy and uncreate it all. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shots, poison guns. Is any question coming up for someone which is not personal? Uh, but which is something that would benefit everybody. We can, I think we can do that without naming names. Okay, <clears throat> so at this point of time, suppose you were employing someone. Just imagine, okay, you are looking for someone to employ and what would you expect as an employer for that person to be? Let me give you an example. Somebody who is very cool, calm and collected. Somebody who is very confident. Somebody who has the knowledge to hold that particular position or job. Would you say yes to that person? Would you? Okay. Now, that person comes and sits in front of you, has had three rounds of interviews with some other uh, organization, reached up to a certain point and then it didn't work. So who has that doubt or that fear that history might repeat itself again? Will that person show up as cool, calm, collected, trustworthy, very, very 
confident of his or her abilities and somebody who you want to grab and not let go because that would be such a contribution to the organization or will you be able to see that shakiness or that doubt energy is the first language and so whatever it is the energy that you go with will decide what it's going to turn out to be so i would ask myself if i were employing someone would i employ me would i choose me okay if the answer is yes great you don't have to worry if you don't get the job you just look at i wonder what the universe has in store for me which is probably better than this so thank you universe i trust you to show me the way what else is possible and what else is possible here and if you feel like no i falter here or i do this or i do that okay so change that and before you go into that interview before you even appear for that interview if that is the job you want if that is the money you want if that is the relationship you want if that is the whatever it is that you want express gratitude for it even before it has come to you anybody who wants more money maybe not on this call maybe there might be somebody else somewhere <laughs> but in case you know someone someone who would like to have more money tell them to express gratitude for it even before it comes and how do you do that in your gratitude journal when do you do that before you go to sleep Preferably. thank you universe i am so grateful so infinitely grateful for the money that is now on its way to me i so look forward to having it do you see how the energy of this is and the the universe is not responding to our words to our prayers to everything it's going to respond to our vibrations the energies that we put out that is what is going to be reflected back to us yes so if we put out energies of fear and hopelessness and desperation or sadness or anger we are going to be more we're going to see more of those things to be upset angry fearful about so why mom is saying to talk as if it has already shown up is because when you have a, we we like to think of it this way gratitude is the highest form of prayer yes and it is one of the most potent energies that can exist or does exist that we are aware of at least so if we tell the universe that we're grateful for something it is going to show us more things to be grateful for and if we go to sleep with gratitude in our minds in our hearts then are we going to wake up rested better sleep better i would like to think so it's it it works for us we've been doing it for a while now writing in our journal before we go to sleep and then we are not we are not going to write in the gratitude journal with some preconceived notions of like oh if i write this then i'll get that the idea is to be grateful for what we have yes. right and talk about something as if we already have it then we're not going from a place of want yes if we're going for a job saying i want a job the predominant thought is i want a job because i don't have it and the 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 focus is on the fact that we don't have what it is that we want the universe is going to pick up on that and is going to remind us constantly that we don't have it and we're going to be you know a dog chasing a tail you know stuck in a loop something very interesting about that tale i'm not really sure i don't have one but um uh that's what happens when we're stuck in our heads the mind is only going to constantly re regurgitate back at us what we've only put there so we're going to have to step out of our comfort zone because if we had everything that we wanted in our comfort zone there would not be an issue but if there's something that we have never created before in our lives if there's something that we know is possible but not quite in the way that we're going about it now we're going to have to step out of that comfort zone step into the unknown 
because everything that we are looking for that we know is possible but don't have any concrete evidence for is there the interesting thing is that we are always asking for something greater are we not yes asking for something more and we are asking for something better so if it was already known to us then it would be something that we have had in our past we do not wish to create a future that is a replica of the past so anywhere that we are uh, uncomfortable about stepping into the unknown to receive the abundance that is available to us shall we destroy and uncreate please yes. right and wrong good and bad pot and pock all nine shots boys and girls right. what would it be like to be comfortable not knowing exactly how it will show up but having the excitement the enthusiasm and the willingness to see it in a way that it shows up which is always better than what you can imagine because imagination also has a ceiling now if you tell me um like uh, let's go climb mount everest i would say i would leave that for another lifetime if i can <laughs> climb the steps up to my uh, that i will be happy but but if you tell me what would it be like to be on top of the everest i can just sit here and imagine myself you know taking a helicopter and going and hovering over it for a bit and being like really happy and coming back just thinking about it makes me happy so everywhere we are shutting off possibilities because we want a concrete yes. evidence or proof of how it will show up shall we destroy and uncreate yes. part of the magic and part of the miracles is the willingness to receive it and to receive it in a way that it shows up which may not be in a way that we think it should but if we trust the universe it will always be better than what we can imagine as i said the imagination also has limits it's like a car example so uh, suppose we say we have in our uh, you know in our uh, wishing thing that i want a mercedes i want a mercedes i want a mercedes i want a mercedes i don't have a mercedes i want one and then somewhere in the back of our heads like do i have the place to park a mercedes in my house do i even have a parking space can i afford to pay for petrol or diesel or whatever it is can i afford the maintenance can i drive it on these roads what will happen if somebody scratches my car and i have to pay a bomb to fix it you know uh, all of these thoughts before the thing has even shown up but like what is the priority the priority for us is to have something fun that gets us from point a to point b safely without hurting us or anybody else that is uh, if you are like very keen on that environmentally responsible that is going to add value not to me but to my family and everyone else uh, you know uh, involved then it could be a maybach it could be a rolls royce it could be a swift it could be a little like you know tiny little maruti thing but if we have a fixed point of view about what it is that we want inevitably we will we will block off other possibilities and at the same time we sabotage our own creation by saying even if i get it i won't be able to do anything with it you know imagine for a moment that you are the universe the source the alpha and the, the omega the giver of everything and imagine me coming and saying i want a mercedes benz and then i'm thinking but where will i park it <laughs> I want a Mercedes Benz but if I have that people will think I have money and keep on asking me for it I don't want that I would like to have the Mercedes Benz but in these days I wonder if so the universe like, like you are asking it, like, it wants to give us you know you want it ha huh, here it's here take it take it take it and then like ah uh, like here ha huh, yes it's here take it uh, so you know so if the universe did not have allowance if the universe was like human beings who get impatient it would say for god's sake make up your mind i have billions of people to take care of have mercy on me <laughs> but the universe doesn't say that the universe says you want it okay let me rearrange myself to bring it to you in the meantime you say whatever i ask i never get i don't know why i bother okay she doesn't want that okay take it back let's see what she wants i got you okay so pramod 
non car example it's like when you plant a seed and then you keep trying to dig it up to see whether it's grown or not you plant the seed there and you create the conditions for which it for for wait you know what it requires to grow and then we let it do its thing we keep giving the energy that it needs and even if we don't see anything on the surface something is happening underneath but if we're constantly digging it up and saying nothing's happened nothing's happened nothing's happened then you're not even giving it the chance to grow and like when we say when we say nothing is happening anything that can happen gets uh, shoved out the window there is Thanks, also Vivek. another that, thing anyway that's that's bhagya's example uh-huh. but but i i let you go on this one today you have a week now yes by <laughs> extension i have the right to your example yeah <laughs> so, so there is also another thing don't plant a neem seed and ask why mangoes are not coming not that there's anything wrong with the neem yeah it's a good medicinal plant and good to have it clears the air around you if you want neem plant neem if you want mangoes plant mangoes if you want apples plant apples the earth has no point of view about what you plant right so the willingness to recognize that the more clear we are about what it is that we would like to have the easier it is for the universe to give it to us so when it is like back and forth like the tides coming in going out then the universe has to just wait for you to make a clear choice so everywhere that we are unclear about what we would like to have while blaming the universe for not giving it to us shall we destroy an uncreated please right and wrong good and bad pot and pock all nine shots boys and, and beyond like and like one interesting thing is like like mom said the earth has no point of view about what's growing there it could be a tree it could be a shrub it could be a plant it could be some fungus it could be anything right the earth says the earth doesn't say like oh you are uh, you are a weed so you're not going to get any nutrients you're a weed so you're not going to get any sunlight it there has no point of view we are the ones who decide that oh this is not a nice plant i don't want this in my garden this 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 conditions we are the ones who cut off possibilities you know we, the earth has no point of view the universe has no point of view about what it is that is possible we are the ones who shut it off garden right that's my choice sorry I don't want to weed in my garden that's my choice isn't it That's your choice that's a different issue but you don't have to judge the weed do you No the the interesting thing about a weed is that we don't know enough about it <laughs> I personally believe that nature doesn't have anything toxic that if it is there then it must have some use it's just that we don't know enough about it okay the willingness to recognize that nothing in nature was created to hurt or harm and if it is there it is because we have put our nose there to do something about it and like and instead that, of that comes at, from a lot of allowance bhagya yeah that's yes. the yes. so statement that's that the, that's like, the key here so we thing. not only not only say like i'm willing to allow for all of these we say like how big can i make my garden so i have place for everything with no judgment i have spent many many happy moments taking pictures of weeds when i used to walk in the park okay they managed to find place somewhere and they grew the incredibly beautiful the tiniest of flowers but but so beautiful i always feel that i wish people could see you the way i see you weed i'm sure that if they did they would appreciate you for who you are but in the meantime on behalf of everyone else i appreciate you so the willingness to be in allowance is one of the first qualities of an infinite being who has the five elements of intimacy with self and if you want your life to be extraordinarily beautiful you create a relationship with yourself 
based on those five elements where you honor yourself a hundred percent, where you trust yourself a hundred percent, where you do not ever feel the need for protection because you are bigger than anything that can show up in your world, where you are the energy of allowance, where there is no judgment, there is a place for greater allowance, and where you are more grateful for yourself than you have ever chosen to be before. When you have this for you, in you, then life will unfold in a very different way. Because we want other people to value us. Do we value ourselves? So everywhere we are waiting for the world to recognize who we are without acknowledging who we are. Shall we destroy and uncreate, please? Yes. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pork, all nine shots, boys and beyond. So, how many people? Uh, 43 feet? here and 17 on. Okay. Page. So, we will not be able to do what we usually do on the calls. But in this moment, I just want you to keep your hands in receiving position. Close your eyes, please. And check for any barriers that may have come, come up by default. They tend to do that sometimes. And in this moment, make sure that there is no judgment about yourself. And just put your attention on your breath. And as you breathe in, imagine that all the magic, miracles and possibilities, energy in the entire universe is making a beeline for you. Imagine you being willing to receive those energies. Imagine that you are more open to receiving those energies than ever before. And those energies that are coming to you now from everywhere in the universe are energies of infinite possibilities. Imagine that when they come to you and you allow them in, they can restore your health to a state of well-being that you always hoped for, prayed for, worked for. Imagine that when those energies come into you, they clear any and all residual energies of judgment, of criticism, the inner critic has to go out when those energies come in. Because they are like a bunch of cheerleaders who are constantly willing to tell you, do you know how amazing you are? Do you know how unique you are? Do you know that there is nobody in the world just like you? Do you know? that we are so happy that you have allowed us to come to you. Of all the billions of people in the world, we get to be with you and we are so happy to be here with you. Imagine that that energy unfolds and allows you to be more creative than you have ever been before. Because with that belief and trust that you now have in yourself, you constantly have to ask only one question. I wonder what else is possible for me now, because everything is. Imagine that you would have 
more money than you ever know what to do with and you always always have enough and more imagine that you are the energy of such gratitude and such joy and such peace and such calm that money would like to come and be with you and not only that that it would bring along with it its friends and say look you want to be with someone wonderful this is the person to choose and imagine the flood gates of abundance opening for you and remaining open now and in the future that money has a way of coming to you from everywhere from expected sources from unexpected sources in ever increasing amounts now and in the future what have you given up to have that you have given up your anxiety and your worry that nagging doubt whether you will ever have everything that you desire once that is out of the way then money coming to you is not a problem at all so with a willingness to be as abundant as you would like to be and much much more than that would require you to be a magnet for money to be that energy that money is drawn to you and know always that while it will come f- through people who will either give it to you because of a job or a business or a a client who is paying you for a session or whatever it is know that it is coming through people but the source is always the universe and as long as you are connected to that source energy because all of us are connected to source energy all of us are plugged in not all of us are switched on and now that you are willing to receive abundance imagine that you're not just plugged in but switched on as well so all the history about not enough let it remain where it belongs in the past and with the willingness to recognize that people will be who they choose to be people will make choices that might seem right for them even though you know that they have better opportunities be willing to be in allowance of them and their choices because the energy that you have the energy that you are the energy that you choose to be is being directed towards greater and greater creations wherever you put your attention that's where you're putting your energy and wherever it is that energy is going it will create that either something you would like to have or something that you don't want because it's up to you to put the energy on whatever it is that you would like to have if you put your attention constantly on this is what i don't want i don't want i don't want you are still putting your energy there and it will create more of what you don't want so the with the willingness to use your energies in a way that is most fruitful in a way that creates the most in a way that is for the highest good of you and everybody else and with the willingness to know that as long as you live with an attitude of gratitude that miracles will keep unfolding in your life to the extent that you're willing to receive it and in order to receive it in order to have it you will need to do some things some actions will need to be taken but in order to take those actions you have to be the energy of what you would like to have 
you have to be that energy that can receive what you are asking for which means no distractions which means no anger rage fury hate guilt blame shame regret frustration sadness bitterness unforgiveness or anything else that you can think of those energies are not conducive to creating anything better anything greater and if they will not create anything greater what if we do not have to choose to have them to house them to give them permanent rent free residence in our heads so with the willingness to be the infinite being that you are with the willingness to look at everything as interesting and never choosing to react to anything with the willingness to be so present in the moment that you see everything with the greatest clarity because you are willing to perceive everything so not a single detail misses you and when you are living in the present moment fully you become the gift you become the present not only for yourself and your family but for the entire world and from that space of being if you can live as a question and even if you don't have many many questions in your toolkit just two of them how does it get any better than this what else is possible those two questions will open up for you unimaginable delightful coincidences and when you look at them you will be amazed at what can show up because you're open to receiving everything with no point of view you have not given it any structure you have not made a demand it has to show up from a b or c in this way in this amount at this time there is no form and there is no structure and you have made nothing significant in your life when you live like that there is no space for judgment and when judgment goes out consciousness and awareness steps in and in the presence of consciousness and awareness you create more and more consciously with greater and greater awareness the idea of competing with anyone for anything does not even occur to you because you live from a place of oneness the only one person that you are willing to compete with the only one person you are willing to outcreate is the one who looks at you when you look in the mirror it is only you who can be your greatest competition so with a willingness to not buy into stories with a willingness to not hold on to stories of of pain and suffering and failure and unpleasant uh situations you are now willing to write a story that everyone wants to read about everyone wants to know about and everyone wants to believe that if you can do it so can they so with the willingness to be that energy of greater and greater possibilities without excluding anyone or anything from your world while always maintaining a vibration that is so high that it invites into your life only something as great as that or something even greater so with a willingness to receive life as a gift that it is and with a willingness to open that gift every morning knowing that if i'm alive and if i'm breathing on my own 
I have something to be grateful for. And what else can I be grateful for? And what else can I acknowledge? And what else can I be and do to make today greater than any yesterday I have ever lived? With a willingness to be the energy of magic and miracles, with a willingness to show people that life can be different, and with a willingness to acknowledge that that is your choice. It was always your choice. It is and always will be your choice. Because life was handed to you as a blank sheet and it is for you to write on it what you will. The universe trusts you as a co-creator. Are you willing to be it? That is the question. And with the willingness to always be that creator you came here to be, whenever it is that you would like to, you may gently open your eyes, please, with a big, big smile. Thank you. And drink some water. Where is Payal? It's Payal B. Ah, she's here. <laughs> Payal by this time has given up thinking what the time is. <laughs> okay. So how are you all doing? I hope. Yeah, thank you. So there is just one more exercise mm -hmm. to do when the call is over. And I pray that each one of you will do that. Will you make a note of the, the chat and the participants, chat, yeah. please? Uh, what you have to do as soon as the call is over is go find the nearest mirror and you stand in front of it and you look into your eyes as if I'm looking at you and I promise you you will see a miracle. If you don't, take an old newspaper, wet it and wipe the mirror clean. And if you still don't, you look into your eyes and say, I'm looking with Bhagya's eyes. Mm -hmm. And then you will see. Okay? Thank you very much for Thank choosing you for to be on the me. call. We Thank are you. blessed to have you today with us, and I wonder what else is possible. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much, Thank Vivek you. and Bhagya. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Love me. Love me. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Thank you all. Don't and forget the mirror work, okay? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. 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 Sure. Thank you, Bhagya thank you so much, Bhagya Most, you. Most welcome. And uh, thank you to everybody on Facebook who's tuned in. Uh, and who has stayed long for enough. this long, yeah. And uh, <laughs> the recording of this call is going up on our YouTube channel. Updates will be posted on Mom's Facebook page. When exactly is going up? No guarantees. But yes, at some point it will be <laughs> uploaded onto YouTube. There is only one thing I would like to say at the end. And that is, uh, be willing to ask for whatever you want. And I pray that you get it. And going one step further, I pray that whatever it is that you desire in your life, no matter what it is, that it shows up for you even before you ask for it. Why? Because I work for the universe 24 bar 7. And the universe has a way of listening. To me. Thank you so much. Many blessings. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you, Ma. Thank you, Vivek. Thank you. Thank you, Vivek. Thank you, Ma. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Yeah. See you next time. Thanks for done, Vivek. Thank you. You're most welcome. Bye. And thank you all for the chat. I will read it now. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank Most you. welcome.
Thank you. Thank you Most welcome. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Take care. Take care of yourself as if you are the most precious thing to be taken care of in the world because you are.